Hello everyone. In our previous video, we explored the process of generating NACA airfoil coordinates using a script. Today, we have an exciting update for you. We've made some improvements to the script, and we'll walk you through the changes step by step. Let's dive right in and compare the new script to the old one. As you can see, the new script shares many similarities with the old one. We still start by entering the NACA airfoil parameters, such as the maximum camber, M, the location of maximum camber, P, and the maximum thickness, T. Additionally, we specify the number of points on the airfoil, number underscore points, to control the level of detail. Just like before, we use a loop to calculate the coordinates of the NACA airfoil. By iterating over each point, we determine the x-coordinate, xi, along the airfoil, calculate the camber line position, yc, and find the thickness, yt, using the familiar formulas. The conditionals help us differentiate between points before and after the maximum camber location. After calculating the coordinates, we reverse the order of the upper surface points. This step ensures that the airfoil is represented correctly when we create the B-spline curve. By joining the reversed upper list with the lower list, we have all the points in the desired order. Now, here's where the new script introduces some changes. In the old script, we had separate lists for the upper and lower surface points. However, in the new script, we create a single list called points to store both sets of coordinates. This allows us to easily manipulate the order of the points. Once we have our complete list of points, it's time to create the B-spline curve. This curve represents the NACA airfoil in a smooth and continuous manner. We pass the points list to the part.bspline curve object, specifying the necessary parameters such as the degree of the curve. Finally, we call the recompute function to update the document and visualize our new and improved NACA airfoil. Let's see the script in action. Change number of points to get smooth curve. Copy this script. Launch FreeCAD. Select Sketcher Workbench. Click here to add a new document. Click here to add a new sketch. Open Python console. Paste selected script here. Press enter to run this script. As the script runs, you can see how the airfoil is generated based on the provided parameters. The resulting curve is now more accurate and visually appealing, thanks to the changes we made in the new script. To recap, we compared the old script to a new and improved version. The new script incorporates changes that allow us to reverse the order of the upper surface points and create a single list for all the coordinates. These modifications enhance the accuracy and aesthetics of the resulting NACA airfoil. Select Part Design Workbench. Close Active Sketch. Select body and add this sketch under the body. Select pad tool to extrude this sketch. Enter 1 and click OK. You can then scale this body to desired dimensions. That's it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed this exploration of the updated script. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let us know in the comments below. 
don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Until next time, happy coding!